Hey guys, it's uh, BHA here, and I'm here with a part two of the third person shooter tutorial. I apologize for the, the uh, first part, it was pretty rushed, and um, if you guys have any questions about it, just uh, holler at me. And um, yeah, so today we're going to be doing a um, gun that can shoot, and we might move on to a crosshair. But uh, the main goal for this tutorial is to finish uh, guns and how you can shoot from them and you can shoot bullets from them. So first I'm going to make this springboard look a little bit cooler. Okay, now the springboard looks really cool. Um, just to show you guys again what we had um, done on the other tutorial, we got a springboard done. And um, this is what the springboard does. It launches you high up in the air, and you come back down. Oh crap! I missed the <laughs> I missed the ground. Well, let me try that again. Okay, hit the ground. Ah! So I hit the ground, and uh, yeah. So. We're going to add mesh cube, and we're going to size our cube down. This is going to be our gun. We're going to put it next to our character. Just like a gun would be. We're gonna make it look like a, just a little bit more like a gun. All right, and then we're going to shift click that, and then shift click it to uh, my my player, and then Control P and parent it. So now wherever we go, this thing is following us. We're gonna move. Okay, so uh, add, and then we're going to add an empty space add empty we're going to and this is going to um, spawn our bullets so we're going to move it as close as we possibly can to the barrel of our gun and we're going to also parent this to the player and you won't be able to see this in the game but um, what, what it's basically going to do is spawn bullets so we're going to move to our second layer by pressing 2 and um, actually what we're going to do is go back to our first layer by pressing 1 and then hold down shift and then select your second layer right here. So now we're seeing both layers. We're going to add mesh icosphere. Uh, this is going to be our bullet. We're going to size this way down gonna make this red and shadeless just so we can see it perfectly we're gonna line it out just to where our barrel is of our gun and we're gonna get we're going to go to our editing tab and name it bullet and then we're gonna go to our logistics and make it where it always moves positively on the y-axis we're going to connect these so now if we go to our camera and press P we should see a bullet move I'm going to tweak my camera just a little bit so it isn't so high so we can see everything perfectly Okay, just sorry about that, just tweaking my camera. Alright, so as we play, we can see that a bullet launches forward, and uh, we want to make it where 
it uh, only launches a bullet whenever we press or whenever we click. So we're going to go to our empty and add three or one of each. I'm going to make this mouse, make it left button, connect these, edit object, and it's by default add object. And we're going to type in bullet because that's the name of our object that is going to be the bullet. We're going to select both of these L's, so make it locally. And uh, hopefully, if we did everything right, it should work. And it does. So um, if you click, a bullet flies out. And um, yeah, it's working so far. I'm going to go to my. Um, bullet again and make it a little bit faster or a lot faster all right so whenever we click a bullet pops out and it's pretty cool so what we're going to make is a crosshair now so add mesh plane and then we're going to drag it up sure it's all centered and perfect. We're going to go to our side view and move it right up against the uh, camera. So whenever we go to our camera it should be all black because that's mess that's in the way of it. And we're going to size it down and we're just making a cross like a crosshair should be. And then we're gonna make this. Let's let's make it blue. Or lighter blue than that. That's good. And then we're gonna make it shadeless, and we're going to parent it to the camera. And we're gonna make it ghost. So it doesn't have any inf interference with anything in the game. So, as you can see, it is following our camera, but it is in the wrong position. So, what we're going to do is move it to where it is wherever our bullets end up being. So, that's basically in the right area. Um, but we parented it to the wrong thing, so what we're going to do is select that and clear track. And we're actually going to parent it to the gun. We're just experimenting around and making sure we're doing the right thing. So what we did is actually parented it to the gun. And if we're going to do that, then we have to move it... move it to where we can see it in the in the in wide open spaces so that also isn't working for us so what we're going to do is actually try to parent it to the player so if you keep up with me you're actually supposed to parent it to the player so as you can see we have a crosshair and it works awesomely. So yeah guys, that's it for this tutorial today. And um Yeah, so I think uh we've done a pretty good job for this tutorial. And um I'll see you next time. It should be a few more uh days maybe a week before I do my next tutorial. Comment and tell me um, what you'd like to see in the next tutorial and I will do it. So um, see you guys.